management, the JCF is pleased to recognize the sponsorship of this afternoon's event by the Amber Group. Amber Group is a rising technology powerhouse globally that stands at the forefront of the digital transformation in Jamaica. The JCF acknowledges its partnership with the Amber Group and applauds its commitment to innovation and national development. Let's give a warm welcome to the Amber Group, sponsors of our launch event today. A man who doesn't just think outside the box, he reimagines the box, codes it into an app, puts it in a drone and flies it across the continents. Founder and CEO of a tech empire, enthusiastic pilot and humanitarian trailblazer, his journey is powered by purpose and he does it with all fierce integrity, infectious vision and a heart wired to give back. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming a visionary and one of our key partners in security management, Amber Group leader, Ambassador Dushyant Savadia. Very good afternoon. No, I'm sure we all had lunch and then come. Good afternoon. You have to excuse um, my lack of confidence today. The day I have a bad hair day, I don't perform very well. But first of all, I want to give a big, big, big congratulations to JCF for such an incredible work that has happened over decades, over months, especially the last few months. Um, what we've achieved through the bravery and uh, forward-thinking members of the JCF. And uh, uh, today's conference is, to me, not just a conference, it's a preview of a digital Jamaica's tomorrow. So, first of all, I want to give a big round of applause to all the JCF members across Jamaica to keep us safe, keep us protected, and help us sleep better at night. So thank you, JCF, the entire team all over the uh, nation for your amazing work that you've done, done and you continue to do. Um, I also want to give a, a, a special commendation again to, to uh, a truly forward-looking force in both defense and uh, uh, police protection through JCF and JDF both. And just to give you a little bit of a backstory, uh, many of you might not know, um, as you saw in the video, we started in a 200 square feet office about nine, 10 years ago. And when we started, guess who was our first fleet ever? It was JCF nine years ago. And at that time, as a young Jamaican company, which has just got started and has built an incredible tech that nobody trusts yet, JCF took us as our first client. Uh, JCF believed in us. JCF brought us on board. And today, we became one of the largest vehicle tracking telematic solution in the whole world with more than half a million <laughs> IoT devices all over the world installed right out of Jamaica to uh, uh, be in 100 countries. And I want to speak a little bit about, I've, I've been given only about 45 minutes to speak. Um, no, that much not even my wife or I can stand myself. So, no. So, to give you a little bit of background again, Amber Group, we've always been looking at how else we can help, how else we can be there for this country, how else we can contribute to our society. We are very proud to say today that in all these years, with all the growth we had all over the world, we donate 80% of our net profits back to humanitarian causes in Jamaica. 80%. And I want to briefly also talk, touch a little bit on AI. Now, we've been having so much of buzz about AI. There is so many applications now built with AI. There is so much you can do. But in Jamaica, we actually became the first to pioneer, not, not just talk about it, but actually implement so many AI solutions. And I'm going to present to you a couple of them today. But I want to show you what we did with Amber Connect itself. Can you imagine now Amber Connect, a vehicle tracking product, which large fleets with all, all over the world with uh, 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 personal vehicles too, 
we now built AI agent in our apps that would actually consolidate, summarize, and you can talk to an agent to ask anything about your vehicles or your fleet. And at the same time, we built Jamaica's first call center agent. So when you are in an emergency, the vehicle actually, um, uh, you actually as a uh, uh, owner of the vehicle would get a call from the AI agent. And the agent will speak to you just like a human, ask you questions and make sure you're okay. And then it will also immobilize your engine on the phone if you ask it to. I want to give you a quick uh, one minute video to show you the power of AI in vehicle tracking and fleet telematics itself. Video, please. To the era Welcome to the era of artificial, artificial intelligence management. Managing a fleet used to mean chasing data, setting up alerts, and configuring and configuring reports. reports. Manual. Now, you now, just ask. You just ask. Step, into the future Step into the future of fleet intelligence with Ambi, your real-time AI-powered voice assistant. Hey Ambi, show me where the white Hilux is right now. The white Hilux is parked at 23 Belmont Road, last moved 15 minutes ago. Ambi, were there any collisions across the fleet today? Yes, one collision reported at 10.03 a.m., loading dashcam footage now. Ambi isn't just about numbers. It's about delivering actionable insights that enhance fleet performance and safety. Ambi, email me the driver behavior violations report for today. Sure thing, sending it now. Hey Ambi, set out of hours driving alert for all of the vehicles. Alert activated. You'll get real-time notification if any vehicle move outside their working hours. Ambi has your fleet fully covered. Swiftly notifying you in cases of emergencies like SOS alerts, device tampering, collisions, or extreme driver behavior violations. When seconds matter, your AI agent doesn't wait, it calls. Hello, this is Ambi from Amber Connect. I detected potential device tampering. I've initiated security protocols and alerted your security company. In the meantime, you can disable the engine? Sure. Your fleet just got smarter. Ask it anything. Automate everything. Ambi from Amber Connect. Smarter, faster, more human. So can you imagine two years ago we could never think of this day where AI agents can actually perform most of the tasks that a call center agent would actually perform bef before. So now we are able to handle hundreds and thousands of calls incoming or outbound just with AI agents itself. I want to also give you a quick view on what we are doing with JCF. And of course, you're going to be at the expo, I'm sure, in a few days. And at the expo, you will be able to play with Constable Smart. Now, we built one of the first Jamaica's Constable Smart who can guide you for all law enforcement, legal and compliance questions that you may have. Now, if I want to find out how many tickets will it, or how many points will it take before my uh, uh, license is canceled, there's no way to know. I have to go through tons of data to understand anything I need to understand around law enforcement. But now, we built a beautiful AI agent, we are calling it uh, Constable Smart, who would actually give you all the information just on a voice conversation, a very human voice conversation. And the best part, we built it in Patua too. So it'll actually speak to you in Patua or English or any language you wanted to speak with. And um, what I want to do quickly is give you a glimpse of that, but then of course you will be able to play. Um, can we load it up on the screen, please? Me, a Constable Smart, your law enforcement AI assistant at the Jamaica Constabulary Force. How me can assist you today? Somebody asking a question. Could you please clarify your question so I can assist you more accurately? If I have 10 points on my license already, how many more points do I need to my license to get suspended? If you have 10 points upon your license already and you accumulate four more points, the authority will suspend your license five, six months. So you need four more points to reach the suspension threshold. Tell me, what is the purpose of JCF? The purpose of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, of you maintain law and order, protect life and property, 
prevent and detect crime and enforce our laws and regulations in Jamaica. Them work for ensure public safety and uphold the rights of citizens. Tell me something about a small crime. If I steal somebody's car, is that, is that a crime? Yes. If you take and drive with somebody's car without them consent, that's a crime. It can be tried summarily or an indictment in a parish court or supreme court and you can face fines or imprisonment. Thank you very much. And I just gave you a very small snapshot of what it can do. We have put terabytes of data inside of all Jamaican law, every single act. You can even ask Act 13, Section 2. What does it stand for? It will give you all of those answers. The bot, the AI agent, Constable Smart, is ready and alive. And please welcome Constable Smart to the Jamaica Constable Force the newest member of JCF. What I also want to add, there is something else that we are building, uh, and of course with the vision of uh, uh, Minister Chang and uh, vision of uh, Dr. Kevin Blake. What has happened is, look, when you go to a police station and you want to give a report, you have to sit down in front of somebody, and that person also might have had, had a bad day from home, and there is books being written, but imagine now all our police stations in Jamaica, when you walk in, there'll be an AI agent waiting for you. You go up to it, you talk to it, you file your report, it will ask you questions, it will even interrogate and ask you the right way so that it collects all the data it needs about your situation, what has happened, where it happened, who was involved. And can you imagine, it files the entire report for you into the database of JCF itself without anybody having to sit down and write all of those things. So that also means that the more we digitalize our police stations, the more we start looking at all of this um, uh, 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 mundane work being taken up by AI, our policemen and women will be actually free to help us on the street too. So it's a huge next step, huge leap of technology advancement in Jamaica. And it's not something that we're speaking, it will happen at some point. We're not showing a dream that at some point, yeah, this might happen. It is already happened, it's already live, and you will get to interact with many things at the Expo. So I would suggest, please do not miss the Expo. See, predicting, predictive policing, um, automating traffic violations, you drive, the cameras are picking up the license plate, picking up who's driving, issuing the tickets automatically. All of this AI-related police enforcement has become the norm or becoming the norm across the world. And Jamaica will not be left behind. We are Jamaica and we will continue to thrive with the rest of the world at the same speed. Again, um, thank you, uh, JCF, for having me here. Thank you for the opportunity to sponsor this event. And uh, uh, I just want to say again, Commissioner, amazing work, amazing things that the whole force has done and is doing for Jamaica. We're very proud of all of you, and thank you so much. Salute. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Savadia, for your presentation and again for your support in making today's event a possibility.